put the time on a rewind yeah. Help me understand, can you tell me now Why you made a war that we're fighting now Hey y'all, welcome back to Kitty Delicious Nest. So we're gonna try this one more again <laughs> to have us a Caesar salad and some chicken, okay? So today we got Cheesecake Factory. So I I'm I'm praying that Cheesecake Factory don't disappoint, okay? I'm praying. I'm praying that they did me right. So let's go ahead and get into this mukbang. Let's say our grace real quick. Thank you, Lord, for this meal that I'm about to receive. Thank you for everything you're doing in my life and bringing in my life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Y'all, this is my first meal of the day. It's Sunday and it's currently, sorry if y'all hear my air, it's, it's hot. <laughs> it's uh, currently about 4 o'clock, maybe 3.30, 4 o'clock. They did what I asked. I needed some salt and pepper, so they put me some on the side. So far, so good. And now, y'all remember, if you didn't see my last mukbang from, you know, another place, go back and look at that one and they Caesar salad. And look at this Caesar salad. This is what I'm talking about. It wasn't pre-made. They made this, okay? They put it together. And I appreciate that, Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> I truly do because this is what a salad is supposed to look like. So I just got a regular Caesar salad, y'all. And I got something that I've never had before. And they're called, uh, if they put it on there, they called Buffalo Blast, I believe. I always see my girl Yummy Bites TV eat these. And I wanted to try them. So it's chicken with like a buffalo thing in them. I've never had them at Cheesecake Factory. I love Cheesecake Factory. I've had their Samoas, but never this as an appetizer. So they look pretty good, y'all. So, and they come with ranch. It look like some buffalo sauce on the side. So, let me just put my salad together real quick. I hope everybody is doing good. These are some big trays they gave me, too. Like, this a lot of... This is on the side... This is a huge salad. Like, I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's huge. But let me put a little salt and pepper on here real quick. He said they didn't have packets. <laughs> and y'all, I ordered me a, a tray. I'm trying not to spill my salad. I ordered me a tray. But I don't even think it would have fit all this stuff because this is a lot. Um, but it's coming from Timu. I actually gonna have two Timu. I think that's how you said Timu hauls coming up. You might see one before this one or after this. But they gave me extra dressing like I asked. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I'm excited. So this is my salad. And this is Caesar dressing. So I appreciate them giving me some extra sauce in case I need it because this is a big salad. And let's dip into this salad first. Y'all see, I'm just throwing stuff. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry, so. Yeah, I ordered me a tray, y'all. So we're going to see if it's going to work out for me when I'm in my car. But here we go, y'all. Here you go. Here we go. Here we go. And I haven't been giving y'all a bite, so I'm going to make sure I give y'all a bite today, okay? Mmm. Mmm. This is good. Mmm. Mmm. y'all can get into the food. This was a salad. And I'm not really a Caesar dressing person. Dressing or salad person. But this is good. So, 
So, I'm going to scoop my salad over some. I'm going to put this dressing right here, which I think is blue cheese. And we about to try one of these Buffalo Blasts. I think that's what they call it. Y'all see how crispy it look? It look good, don't it? So let's try it and see. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Now that's good. <laughs> mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. This hitting the spot. It's really hitting the spot. And I think that's like a hot sauce. And they gave me a ranch. Because they give you celery on the side too. Just so y'all can see. Let me try it with the ranch. These are good. It's hot. There's a lot of breading in these. But it's good. So I turn my air up a little bit. It's hot out here today, y'all. I feel good. I worked out this morning on a Sunday. I usually only work out on Mondays. But I seen a couple people on um, Instagram and Facebook this morning that inspired me to get up and go. It may, it's making my day actually really go really good. Now, this ain't nothing but some lettuce, parmesan, and croutons and salad dressing. And you can add ch chicken. I was going to add shrimp, but I knew this was going to be a lot. But the lettuce is fresh. The Parmesan cheese is some real Parmesan cheese. <laughs> mm hmm And it's good. These are good, too. But if you ever had um, Cheesecake Factories... Samoas, they are delicious. I don't know if they just don't have them right now. But I couldn't order them curbside. So 
So these are good. It's just a lot of breading. It's like an airy breading, but it's cool. It's really hard to find good places to eat nowadays. And I'm sure it's just not here in Cleveland. I'm sure it's everywhere. Since COVID, it's like the food industry has just totally went down. People just don't care about the service and the quality. They hiring people, they can't keep people, and the people they are hiring, they really don't care. <laughs> Because people pay a lot of money to come out here and eat. And you can't get good service. I need some more dressing. It's so funny. Because y'all know Darius Cooks if you don't know, he's um, all on social media. And he got a YouTube channel where he cook um, meals. And I think he got a couple restaurants. But he was just here in Cleveland. He was asking people, what's some good spots to go to? They named Zanzibar, which y'all have seen me eat there before. That's enough of them. There's too much bread. <laughs> but it was worth trying. It's good. I'm going to put my napkin. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> but they asked him where to go. And everybody was in the comments saying, go to Zanzibar, go to Zanzibar. They named a couple other different places. There's actually another place over here called the Black Box, which I might have to do them. They don't really have a lot of keto-friendly stuff, but um, I've had his food when he first open and it's really good but they had him on there and a few other places but the places that was naming I was like Lord Darius ain't gonna like it <laughs> I knew it Zanzibar is known for their soul food rolls, soul rolls and they're really good but I went to the one downtown here in Cleveland, like December-ish, and it was horrible. The Soul Road was the only thing good. 
I had salmon croquettes, which I love, and y'all see me eat that. And they always do good. But I went downtown to a different one. Something was wrong with the gravy. It tasted horrible. When I say horrible, it was horrible. The guy or the uh, the bartender, she heard me complaining about it, just talking to my daughter. And she sent the guy over and he asked me what else could he get. And I told him, I, I don't want this because <laughs> this ain't going to work. The macaroni and cheese my daughter had, I don't know what that was. I've never really liked that mac though because it, it just ain't macking. <laughs> So they ended up making me some catfish nuggets that was um, fingers. That was really good. He fried the hell out of them. So it was really good. But I was really disappointed with that salmon croquettes. Really disappointed. So Darius, he posted his food. And he said, Cleveland, we're going to have to talk about this. <laughs> I was like, Lord. I knew it. And he went to Black Box. And the food looked amazing. But I haven't seen a review from him as thus far. So I don't know if he's going to talk about it or not. I don't watch him all the time, but yeah, I'm really curious to hear what he got to say. <laughs> well, when people try to come to your city and they can't even find some good eats. And it seemed like he was trying to go to black owned restaurants and you can't even go somewhere. <laughs> That's a problem. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to get my water in. <laughs> Yeah, that's a problem. It's just hard. It's just better to cook. I'm going to tell y'all something. I ate out twice this weekend. Mr. Heroes and my son brought me some Chipotle. Both things I ate this weekend, I hated both of them. Like, it wasn't right. It just, you know. And I've had both of these same things before, and it's delicious. But just this day, it was off. And I understand cooks have their own day and off days. That's something that kind of deters me from cooking all the time because I don't consider myself a chef, but I know what I'm doing when I'm in the kitchen. But feeding other people, it may be one of my off days. And then, you know, then I got a bunch of people that's complaining because my food is horrible. <laughs> I don't know. I just, you know, I've never had complaints like that, but that's just a fear of mine. So I know people have their on and off days, but when you constantly hear the same people saying the same thing about the same place, it's something going on with that place, period. So it's just not really good places out here to eat anymore. So that's what I'm on my way to go to the grocery store so I can meal prep and do some food this week. It's just, I am one of them people I love to eat out. I love to go out and eat. I love to talk and and mingle with my family and eat good food. But where is the damn good food at? <laughs> it's just really hard. It's really hard these days. You got to stick to what you know. Stick to what you know. And that's why I eat the same thing over and over. And sometimes they fail me. But, you know, it is what it is. All in all, this is cool. These were pretty good. They were good, but it's just a lot of breading on them. That's what I don't like about it. But 
I mean, is it horrible? No, it's good. But if I'm not a person that wants a bunch of breading, like I want to taste meat with the bread. So that's what I would say about these. And my Caesar salad was good for some lettuce and some fresh Parmesan and croutons and good dressing. It was, it was good. So, you know, I say this meal was a... I say a, a eight out of ten, maybe seven out of ten, you know, because I couldn't. I haven't eaten today, and I really, you know, I was trying to do good with a little bad. <laughs> so that's how I came up with the the buffalo chicken things. But you know, I wanted to try them because I always see Yummy Bites TV eating them, and they look good. But excuse me, y'all. I will be in North Carolina in a few weeks. So, I need some suggestions. If you're in North Carolina, give me some suggestions of some good places. They don't have to be keto. They could be non-keto um, or, you know, a little low carb -ish. You know, I can make it work. I'll make it do what it do. But I'll be out of town. It'll be for my birthday. So, I'm, I will be cheating a little bit. <laughs> so, for all the keto police, yes, your girl will be cheating a little bit. But if you know some good places down in North Carolina, I will be there in a few weeks. So please uh, leave me some suggestions down in the comments and let me know where to go. But I love y'all. I love y'all so much for always rocking with your girl coming back, even though I'll be inconsistent. I'm going to try to get some videos out for y'all the next couple weeks. Keep them coming. I love y'all so much. And until next time, keep it key delicious. Peace. Bye, y'all. Help me understand, can you tell me now Why you made a war that we're fighting now And you fall and you run When you see my big guns Run around, run away As the rebel comes out Then you go, call on me When you call me, I come Whether you